What's up guys? We got a great video ready on deck for you guys to see today. We are featuring the Bullet Marker, which is Art Primo's own version of, well, I guess like the deco color. It's a small shaker type. Oh, there goes the cap. Great. <laughs> Let's leave that in the video. It's a small shaker type marker featuring a four millimeter nib. Yep, four millimeter nib. Fiber type that is replaceable. We have these on the site as well too. And it comes in five colors. And I've heard from a few friends of mine that they really enjoy using the silver one on a variety of surfaces. Now, these markers do have a slight whiff of acetone, but I, they are labeled as an alcohol-based marker. But as we all know, alcohol and acetone are miscible together. So there might be a combination of the two. That said, they're not too stinky. They actually smell quite a bit less than the deco colors, which is nice. And they also lay down a nice line. Let's check them out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the silver real quick here. I just want to see how it looks. And uh, I got to say, I really enjoy, really enjoy the way that the silver shines on here. It's like a, almost like a silver aluminum, kind of like the Rust-Oleum. It's got a little bit of that sheen to it, which I really enjoy. Perfect. Laced on a really nice line. Let's check it out here. I'm not getting the pilling that you sometimes see with the water-based markers, which is really nice. And uh, unlike the decos, these actually dry a little bit quicker. So that's also a nice little feature of them as well. They do have a different feel to them. I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, but the silver does lay down really nicely. It's a really nice silver. And of course, these can be used both indoors and outdoors. All right, guys, as you can see, the reflective properties of the silver has a really nice sheen to it. it. Hits off the black really nicely. I think you guys will really enjoy it. All right, guys, let's check out the white. As you can see, the white has a similar look to the uh, Pentel Shorty. That's the closest thing I can describe it looking like. Very similar to the Pentel Shorty. But it's very opaque on the black, which is nice. Now, on black paper, whites do tend to soak in a little bit, so you probably will get some soak. But overall, I'm very happy with the way it lays down. Very, very nice. All right, so this is one layer of white on the black. As you can see, there is a little bit of soak going on, but compared to, for example, like a Molotov One For All or any other type of white marker, it's definitely holding its own quite well. Now, if you add an extra layer, think of it as your primer. Let's say that, let's think of it as your primer. So when you add your extra layer, it's much more opaque and much more, well, I, don't, I wouldn't call white vibrant. Well, I guess you could call white vibrant. It's a much more bright white, let's just say that. Ain't no cavity creeps in here. So go ahead and lay on your next layer. And it's beautiful. It's a good thing. <laughs> Isn't that like a Martha Stewart thing? <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> Yo, I should do a collabo, Martha. Let's do it. All right. So yeah, wow, look at that. That's actually really nice. Perfect. 
All right, let's just do a quick little outline on the edges just to clean it up a little bit. Of course, if you're using your fill color you, or your outline color, you could do that as well too. But this is just for illustrative purposes so you can see how it looks. All right, let's take a look at the other colors. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the black. Now, the black is very opaque, as you can imagine. And with the stock nib, you can see it's very, very fine point. But here's what you can do. You can flare the nib out a little bit and get a little bit more flow and a little bit more of a, a mop, a little bit more of a mop-like look with it. You see that? It's much more juicy and much more flowy. And all that takes is just a little bit of sandpaper to just kind of wear the nib in. I mean, it, it just comes from use anyways. So if you're outside using it, it'll get that way just from use. But if you want to get a clean, nice line in your sketchbook, just leave it as is. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out the blue. As you can see, it's a really nice shade of Dodger blue would be the best way to describe it. So if you're from LA, I think you'll really enjoy this color. I grew up with the Dodgers, so, you know, I'm a fan. Let me see if I can do an LA hollow here. When I was a kid, they had huge beef with the Giants. I learned a lot about life going to a Giants game with my mom. She wore a Dodgers jacket. <laughs> I was like 10 years old. <laughs> Giants fans are not friendly to Dodgers fans and vice versa. <laughs> But that's just the way it goes, I guess. Anyways, as you can see, it lays down a really nice clean line and I really enjoy this color. It's, it's the perfect blue. It really is the perfect blue. There you go. All right, so I noticed I had a little bit of a hanger on here, so he's going to be flipping the bird to the Giants fans. <laughs> no hate, guys. Just having a little fun. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the red. Now, my personal opinion, this is purely my personal opinion, it's not my favorite red. It's a little bit on the orange side for me, just a little bit too orange for my taste. That said, it's still a very nice shade of red. But if it were me, I'd probably make it a little bit more of a cherry red. But it looks good. It's very vibrant. I'd probably consider it similar to fire red. So think of like fire red and the flame orange. It's, it's a very similar shade to that. Very vibrant, very bright. Uh, but I think I want a little bit more cherry. A little bit more cherry in my, in my marker. But hey, it's the, only, it's the only red that they have right now. But it looks good. It definitely does look good. As you can see, it lays down very smooth and very even. It's not all chunky. Um, I've noticed that with sometimes with decos, you get a chunky one, you know, no matter how much you shake it and prime it, it just comes out so chunky. The only thing I can think of is you just get a bad pour sometimes. But this one looks really nice. I have not had that happen yet with these. We shall see. But I definitely think we should come out with more colors because five colors is just not enough. <laughs> Perfect. We add a little bit. Not bad. So there you go, guys, the bullet markers. A great inexpensive way to get up or rock it in your black book. Fantastic deal at only $2.50 a piece. Also, we put a link down below so you can easily check out a kit for yourself. Put it in someone's stocking and maybe you'll make someone's Christmas a little bit better. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. This is GR signing out. Peace.